I have been sectioned under Section 2 of the Mental Health Act in the UK. This is the hospital they have me in. I'm not allowed to film in it, but hopefully there won't be any problems because I'm not filming staff or patients. Only the room I'm in. I'm just going to get out of the way in case there is a problem. Sink doesn't even drain. It's been like that for an hour. A woman called Kathy Howard, C A T H Y H O W A R D came to my flat with, I think it was five other people, three policemen, one called Sernigi, C E, oh, Sesnigi, C E S N E G E, and um, a couple of other policemen whose names I can't remember, and two other mental health staff. I think they were both female, but I'm not sure. One of them was anyway. I've seen her on the ward since, but I haven't seen her for a few days. She's a young woman with bad teeth, which make her speak unclearly. Um, I asked them why they wanted to take me in, and they said it was because I had been asked repeatedly in the last six months to go for mental health help voluntarily and I'd refuse to. Well, there's not much point in making it voluntary if the refusal is going to get you. Hang on a minute, I've got to move. That's it. There's not much point in making it voluntary if refusal means they can take you in forcibly, is there? So I'm not sure that that was legal. They also said that I had been filming people but filming people is legal. I've stayed within the law. They said I've been filming my neighbours who felt harassed by that. My neighbour has been neighbours have been harassing me. And I've caught some of it on video. And I think that is why um, they're upset, actually part of it. They don't like the transfer of power to the civilian. They want to keep it all for them. The idea that you can prove anything is not pleasant to them. They don't like people filming. That's going to be a big deal in future. That's really got to be fought for. They don't want civilians to have power. They want it all in their hands. I've actually been victimised. I think I'm a targeted individual. You can look this up on YouTube. Just type in targeted individual. And um, I've had trouble from people all my life. I never had a scrap of justice. You know, any personal power is definitely something they would want to deny me, and I think that's why they don't want me to film. They should actually see the things I've filmed as evidence and proof that I've been targeted and harassed, but instead they are just completely irrationally saying I'm harassing my neighbours. I've got a film of my neighbour being aggressive to me, and I think on more than one occasion... I've got a film where I accused her of burgling my flat and she didn't reply. You know, she was too embarrassed to reply, so obviously she was guilty. I've got a film of a council worker assaulting me. I think that might be where this trouble has actually started from. They don't want an official being um, filmed or doing anything wrong. If anyone wants to check that out, just check out... Um, it's a fairly recent film. It'll have something about a Campton Council officer in it. I'll put it in the description which one it is. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think that might be where this trouble actually stemmed from. Me filming an official doing something wrong. They don't like that. I think this could be a straightforward case of revenge. Discipline, you know, oppression. Uh, state terror. 
And they also said that um, I had been racist. Being racist isn't a crime. It's uh, how you act with racism that's a crime or not. You can have a racist party even, or certainly you can have a nationalist party anyway. You can still apparently think freely. I've actually said to policemen in the past, this is a free country, and they've actually said to me, some have said, no, it's not. <laughs> repeatedly, repeatedly they said that. Others have just laughed and said, do you think so? Uh, it's obvious that um, quite a few of them know they're oppressive and would probably really like to do quite a lot of harm to you, but somehow feel <coughs> held back. Um, I don't want to get all preachy now, but I've actually started to become sure that the only thing holding back these people would literally have to be something stronger and fiercer than them, and that would be God. Because what they want to do, and they're in charge, they've got the power. These, these people have got the power. I think the only thing holding them back, really, is God. Not even anyone in power who thinks they might have the power to hold them back. I think literally it's, there's a spiritual war going on that we're not aware of. And that's the only thing that's holding them back. And they might even be like demons or something. You should check out the film They Live. I'll put it in the description as well. It's usually available for free on YouTube and it um, it's just a sort of dramatisation of this. claims to be fiction, but it's probably, you know, about as close to the truth as you'll get. Anyway, um, yeah, the other thing they said I was uh, um, doing wrong was racism. Um, even if I'd done something wrong with racism, that would be a crime, not a mental health issue. So what am I doing in here? So anyway, um, I said to them that if, anyone, if I'd ever said anything racist to someone, they probably would have said something or done something to me first, which is true, because I'm actually a very nice person, probably softer than I should be, just like all white people are, which is why we allow so many foreigners to come and um, <coughs> live with us. You won't find other countries doing that. White people are very soft, and a lot of foreigners know it and will say so. They're more open about it now, a lot of them have said so. You can find comments on YouTube admitting that white people are <coughs> effectively suiciding by allowing themselves to lose everything <coughs> to non-whites. This is, I think, um, being enforced on us anyway by people like Kalergi. Kalergi is one of the people who started the EU 100 years ago. You should check out the Kalergi plan. I'll put that in the description as well. Also, be aware that Jews own 99%, that's 999 percent of um, Western mainstream media. So there are eyes, ears and voice, voices now, they are voice now, so um, we uh, <coughs> don't get to hear anything except what they want us to hear. So um, they won't be printing, they won't print anything like non-whites saying that we're racially suiciding by allowing the whole world to come and take all our stuff off us. This is, um, this is something that is, um, this is something that's um, just not reported by Jews who obviously have their own agenda since they own 99.5 whatever, almost, almost pretty much all of them. Um, um, mainstream media in the West. <coughs> so, um, so yeah, they're going to have their own agenda and it's not going to be pro-white nationalist, is it? It's obviously going to be internationalist as it is. Um, you could check out Barbara Lerner Spector's quote on that. She says that in the future Europe will not be um, large countries of white people, it will be small countries, all broken up of, um, of uh, well, according to the Kalogi plan, black and Asian crosses. No white people. And she doesn't seem to want white people. They seem to be engineering a great big violent slaughter of white people by bringing in a whole lot of very angry blacks. All the neocons in America are mostly Jews, and they're, very, they're, the, they're the hawks. They want all the fighting. 
in the Middle East. And um, they make a lot of money out of it by selling arms and things like that. Then they send all the angry people up to the West to kill us all. And they end up rich with no white people and a whole lot of um, less able people to boss around. That's their dream and it's coming true. Got to move again. There we go. And um, as a politically aware person who's self-empowered themselves by getting evidence against one of the neighbours. The neighbour is a black woman, by the way. My nastiest neighbour, who was most regularly abusive towards me, is a black woman. <coughs> I told my housing officer, because I live in the council flat, I told my housing officer <coughs> about her, and he asked me to describe her. And when I said she was black, he just completely closed down. He just completely closed down and um, wasn't interested in anything I had to say after that. Um, and he's Asian, he's an Indian, as you can guess, a Muslim Indian. Uh, I think she's a Christian, I'm not sure. Um, a lot, there are quite a few Christian blacks around. And her, I've seen someone, I think it's her mother, who looks quite respectable. So um, she's probably Christian, because when people take on that kind of look of respectability, they're usually Christians, so she'd be <coughs> probably Christian, but I'm guessing. But anyway, my housing officer is a Muslim, but he sided with her anyway, just because she was black. That was uh, about 10 years ago, and I've never had any help from him ever since. So I think he's racist towards me. So basically, and when they took me in here, I got a lot of aggressive behavior from them, um, about, which I think was related to race. And so they're actually being really aggressively racist to me. And um, I'm stuck on my own here. The ward is now filling up with creepy men. I don't, I don't think I, I don't seem to like them. And um, some of them hang around my door. One just hung, hung around it singing a song about bugging me. Um, he was pretending to be a singing a song with um, about, you know, maybe I can't see through my door, although he's got some sort of viewing thing for, that can be used to view me in it. But he couldn't see through it, and neither could I. But I could see a shadow on it. And he was singing a song about um, bugging someone, you know, um, which could have been a pop song he could claim to have been singing. But he's been hanging around my door. I've heard his voice several times. So have a number of other people. They always come and hang around my door. People do weird things to me. They do. I don't see them hanging around each other's doors. They come and hang around my door. You have a look at my videos about bad neighbours and you'll see the things I say about how I get weird behaviour from people who live near me wherever I go. Someone's coming in now, I might have to stop this video. Bye.